morning welcome to is help desk today we have come up with a video why reading yojana and kurukshetra magazine is important for student preparing for is mains for moving to the topic we should understand what makes a good mains answer when you read an article or study notes and if there is no link among the paragraphs what's your reaction at that time you feel that there are either some gaps in the content or you feel disconnected and you are not able to process the content similarly is with with the mains answer the examiner has to check a specific number of copies daily if while reading the answer he comes across disconnected paragraphs lack of interconnection among different dimensions and analytical skill then you will not be able to get good marks hence a student while preparing for is mains should concentrate on improving the answer writing skill so now moving to what makes a good answer firstly a student should stick to the answer structure that is so while writing the mains answer proper introduction main body and conclusion should be there many times i have seen while checking copy of ethics that student fail to write introduction and conclusion hence he is not able to get good marks now the moving to the second point second is there should be right interpretation articulation and objectivity right interpretation means a student should write what has been asked in the question if it is related to critically analyze then a student should write both the positive and the negative points and with the neutral conclusion so understanding the crux of the question is very important now moving to the second point it is articulation there should be a proper flow and proper connection among the paragraphs and the third is objectivity it means there should be a clarity of thoughts and and it can be brought by placing examples for proper justification of the point and the third is there should be proper illustrations and examples in the mains answer writing according to the question so for the illustrations examples for the data and for the proper analysis yojana and kurukshetra magazine is important so now moving to understand why reading yojana and kurukshetra magazine is important for is mains the first point is it provides in depth analysis of government policies it can be understood by following example this is the article from kurukshetra bridging the digital divide so in this article the complete analysis of the digital india program what are the lacunas what are the different programs in it what are the infrastructures all is given at one point so if a student start making notes from different sources or from the internet then it will be difficult for a particular student to get all the information at one place but in the yojana and kurukshetra you can get all the information at one place with proper data and examples and can use that information in the answers directly as you can see in this all the scheme teams under digital india has been given then what government is doing to for the data governance is also given because data security has become a major issue nowadays so this data can be used in the conclusion or for the way forward if the question is related to digital india now moving to the second point it focus on rural development and agriculture topics as for example this is the article from april 2020 from kurukshetra and in this women farm the article is on women farmers as we all know that feminization of agriculture is occurring so in this they have given the data what the problem they are facing what the problem they are facing and what are the government schemes for the empowerment of women farmers it also a list about the sustainable agro ecological practices last year the question on integrated farming methods have been given and it is also explains how the shg and different government organizations support the women farmers so in this the topic of women farmer have been covered holistically so as given in the gs mains paper 3 the topic of agriculture in which the questions related to cooperatives or the related to government policies of agriculture or the agriculture practices e naam etc have been given in in the last few years so these topic can be covered directly from the yojana and kurukshetra 
third point is it provides a supplementary material for gs for all the gs papers the topics in the yojana as you can see is not just related to government schemes or the rural development it covers the indian maritime so it provides the information on coastal security coastal erosion blue economy plastic pollution etc it provides a supplementary material for all the gs papers and the yojana is designed on a particular theme each month so these articles will be related to different topics from the syllabus the content and the examples from the yojana can be used in essay also so they are the source of potential essay topics you can use the anecdotes or the examples from the yojana or kurukshetra for introduction of the particular topic in the essay that depends on the topic and for example a topic on blue economy can be given or for the plastic pollution so directly the question will be not on plastic pollution but you can use this content and the data for enhancing your essay and the last is it enhances the analytical and writing skill because it provides a comprehensive analysis of each topic with proper data with proper examples illustrations etc and these are written by the experts so you can directly use these in the mains answer and it develops your writing skill now question arises how to read yojana in kurukshetra magazine if a student preparing for is mains he should read the yojana in kurukshetra for the past one year because the data will be new and that can and that data or the policies can be used directly in the answer further you should read the syllabus and the previous year question firstly before reading the yojana in kurukshetra because you will be able to select the topics which are important from the examination point of view for example i am taking yojana of october 2020 and it is related to our eco so it is mainly for the gs paper 3 in this the first topic is zoological diversity so in this if you start reading it india represents two major realms and 10 biological zones so this line is very important because it can be used in the essay or in the answers if it is related to the biodiversity of india and the data is given of all the species so you don't have to mug up all the data just one or two is sufficient to enhance your answer then it is given about the zoological survey of india so it is important from the prelims point of view then the name of the species are given the coastal and marine biodiversity is given so you don't have to learn all the species but you should know where these species are found because it is important from the prelims examination now the government scheme for the restoration of it or the scheme for the reef restoration you should know about these scheme so if you are reading any scheme or any topic in this then you don't have to get information to the deep because that can that you cannot write in the examination but but you should have the comprehensive knowledge about that topic now moving to the second chapter that is geo scientific exploration so you should know about the geological survey of india and what are the geo scientific explorations so you should know about the mission and what are the aims and objectives of it and you don't have to be know that in detail because it it will not be asked in the examination directly if it is related to the explorations then you can mention these missions and with one or two lines of the objective so that will be sufficient for the answer now moving to this topic it is a biological paradise it explains the biodiversity of andaman and nicobar so you should know the history of it which type of flora and fauna is found in there and what is the climate of it but for the detailed each species you should not know because it will not be asked in the examination so main thing is while reading a yojana or kurukshetra you should know which topic is important from the examination point of view and how much data you can place in the answer read the topic accordingly because then only you will be able to recall everything in the examination otherwise it will just be in the form of notes in our website under upsc free resource section on free downloads we are providing yojana and kurukshetra summary these summaries have been uploaded and we are also uploading the new summaries in this the summary is given according to the syllabus and the previous year questions and the topics which are important from the examination point of view so these summaries are very crux and the student can 
complete one file in a day and can recall also so please download the yojana in kurukshetra from our website and in the free resources we are also providing the mains material the current affairs magazine the and ethics material and answer writing practice so any student can write the answer and send us for checking we will revert the checked copy hope you have found the video helpful and thank you thanks for watching this video please like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel and share it with your friends for more guidance and strategy you can visit our website www.ishelpdesk.in you can also send a whatsapp message on 8586055783 do let us know your feedback in the comment section below also let us know if you are facing any challenges in your preparation and we will try to make a relevant video for resolving the same thank you